recognizing faces, detecting objects, and even following movements. We set it up so he can kind of react to what he sees, and... Let me like this. Hello guys, so those are my two favorite robots. On the right side you see Winnie. Winnie, actually, you know, really good. It's a small guy. Uh, moving around on the two tracks or caterpillars. Uh, I built him for fun, for entertainment, and uh, but that's what I did with him. Uh, I uh, cooperate, I will say, with ChatGPT, yes, with the uh, AI, to tune my code, and he gave me some suggestions, and he helped me to solve many problems with ro that robot. And now it's a time to do the same with Eddie. I built Eddie many years ago. I built. I, I never finished him yet. Mm, basically for fun, for entertainment. This uh, kind, big, human-sized robot um, was created by me. Just I don't really like. I didn't plan it, make it so big. And uh, somewhere in my head was idea always to create something like real like really realistic and alive but also one thing what I want to do now with this robot is I want to do exactly the same what I did with Winnie now during the couple of weeks I've been doing the experiment with Winnie uh, I wrote his code I uploaded the code to the robot he's been doing everything, everything what I wanted everything works but one day that wasn't enough for me and uh, I decide to show uh, my robot Winnie to AI. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm seeing your robot standing there looking pretty cool. It's got that kind of humanoid frame with the skull-like head and these big round eye cameras. But do you know which robot it is? Do you know his name? Do you remember him? Absolutely I do. That's definitely Winnie. I remember we talked about all the personality and fun behaviors you were adding to him, so it's great to see him in action. And tell me how you helped me with the coding. What have you done so he's more uh, real? Oh, definitely. So I remember we worked on adding a bunch of those fun little personality touches, like making him chat in a kind of movie-inspired way and adding those natural little micro-movements so he feels more alive. Uh, we also integrated the voice recognition so he can respond to commands and have a bit of a personality. So all those little tweaks kind of help him come to life and feel more like a character than just a machine. And that camera basically lets him do all sorts of cool stuff like recognizing faces, detecting objects, and even following movements. We set it up so he can kind of react to what he sees and it just makes him a lot more interactive. There is still so, so much work, but I will now. I want to do the same, exactly same way with Eddie to give him like personality to make him a little bit more smarter and of course more fun, more functional and um, it's so much work but I won't give up and I will do it and I will share all of the progress, all of the success, all fails with you guys so stay tuned.